channel Simply Queen by Sherelle, that's me. So today I am going to do my very first A Day in the Life of a Seamstress. So I don't know um, how this is going to turn out, but I am going to give it a shot. So it is the weekend um, and it's early morning. It is 725 and I've been down here since about 630. I am... Um, cleaned up everything because the last time I was down here I did leave you know a lot of um, loose threads and and you know dust you know how we do it wasn't a mess but you know the um, workbenches were not tidy so I've uh, cleaned everything up so what I have planned for today is I am going to finish editing um, the uh, reupholstery of my sewing room chair that I need to connect to my sewing room tour video, which is now posted. So if you haven't seen it, please go and view it. Um, give me the thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe and hit the notification uh, bell. Now that I am on the mend and on my way to a full recovery, I will be um, getting back to uh, sewing um, very, very soon. But I have tons of um, things that I can use for content now that I'm feeling better that I just need to record because I recorded a lot of video footage, um, you know, several months back that I just never um, got around to editing one. So what I have on tap for today, again, I'm going to finish up this quick edit and then I need to um, go shopping. I want to go to my two of my favorite um, fabric stores. One is going to be the Fabric Basement in Alexandria, and then the other one is going to be G Street Fabrics out in Rockville, Maryland. Um, but before I go, I'm going to make a shopping list because every time I go to the fabric store without a shopping list, you know what happens. You know, we pick up stuff we don't need and we overspend. And I am shopping today for specific um, stuff. So I want to make that list very quickly. So I am on my way to um, Alexandria, Virginia to go and um, look at some specialty fabrics at um, a little shop owned by my Nigerian friend. Um, she sells a lot of the Ankara fabric and Nigerian lace and, um, you know, some really nice accessories. Okay, so I've made it here to my little boutique and I am about to look for some fabric. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay, so here we are. Uh, she sells a lot of clothes too, but my fabrics, oh, she's got sheet sets. Nice. Wow. Very nice. It's the Nigerian lace. He's got gellies, head wraps, and here's the fabric I'm getting ready to go through. Gosh, she's gotten so much more stuff in here. Okay. All of this beautiful, gorgeous fabric. And that's the Nigerian lace and satin and silk is all back there. And there's a seamstress um, that works in here. These are some of her outfits. If you just want to buy something ready-made, beautiful dresses, robes, beautiful beaded dresses. So I am going to put this down.
no need to see. Christmas time is more better because at that time you can have a lot of fun. Okay. <laughs> so, is it, is it makes a difference for the cost? Yes. And that, oh no, that one too you spend a lot. Oh. <laughs> like plain fair, they charge a lot. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. It's, it's 12. It's 12. Guess where we are going today? We are going on another field trip. Yep, this time we're going to finally get out to the famous G Street Fabrics in Rockville, Maryland. Yeah. Pre-pandemic, I would actually be heading over to the gym for my Zumba class on Saturday mornings. I so miss my Zumba classes, but um, we are going to do the next best thing and that is go shopping, specifically shopping for fabric. So yesterday I took you guys on a field trip with me to my um, specialty fabric store shop in um, Alexandria, Virginia to uh, Wren's Queen um, and that is where I purchased my Ankara fabric. That's the African print fabric and I picked up a few other um, pieces as well. I'm actually planning to go back um, to her shop. Uh, she's closed on Sundays so maybe um, the early part of next week because when I got home, I um, really wished I had purchased all of the fabrics that I picked out. So um, I'm going to go back and get them before I forget which ones um, they were. So um, today we are in the market for um, satin fabrics um, for, you know, what I'm preparing to release hopefully sometime next month. Um, and this is going to be a limited collection. I'm only going to offer these pieces for a limited amount of time. So today I'm in the market for some satin and I need some um, rib knitting rib knit fabric rib knit fabric is kind of hard to find in multiple colors if a fabric store carries it at all then it's usually just in the black white or gray so i'm hoping that g street fabrics um uh offers the ribbed knit in multiple colors otherwise i'm going to have to um take my chances and order online so um my car is nice and warmed up and we are getting ready to hit the highway okay all right bye-bye uh, yes good morning may i have a large vanilla iced coffee please okay that'll be all okay first window thank you gotta have that iced coffee before i hit the highway <laughs> Okay, so this is the remnant room, and this is what it looks like. And it's a whole room of this, and you just have to dig through and see if there's anything that you like. I know it looks a mess, but I actually enjoy digging through it. to my cart and mm -hmm. hello 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. It's some really pretty stuff. And you have to get here early because um, it's the weekend. And when people get up and uh, get moving, you know, they're really going to be busy. So... today and what I purchased yesterday. I did not find much of what I was looking for at G Street Fabrics today. I did get one piece of satin um, and it wasn't much yardage. It was like two yards, um, but I did find some really nice pieces. So I'm going to start with the G Street Fabric um, today and they're all on my lap. So I'm going to try not to knock everything over. So I got this really nice um, fuchsia. Um, this is Stretch Poplin. Um, it's very nice. So that's Fuchsia Stretched Poplin. And I am going to make View A on this, which is a little romper that flares. So I'm going to make that. This called for, I'm going to make a size large, and it called for two and three eighths, and I believe this is just under three yards. So I definitely have enough for that. Next is this beautiful piece of charmeuse. It's very lightweight, very nice. It's very nice quality. Um, I got three yards of that, and I am going to make um, a dress out of this. I will probably do view, hmm, I think I'll do view C for this piece of charmeuse. It's like a, um, a wine color. It's very pretty. And then the same type of fabric is this navy blue lightweight charmeuse. charmeuse. It's very pretty. I got three yards of that and I am going to make um, another version um, of dress out of that. And I will probably go with um, B. And those are to be worn like in the summer months because it's very lightweight. Then I have this very nice stretch poly. This has a lot of stretch. It's very nice. And this is a um, Oh my goodness, periwinkle. This is a periwinkle. And I have, I purchased three and a half yards of this. And I am going to make a jumpsuit out of that. And I'm going to make version B down in the bottom. And that's McCall's 8069. The dress pattern is um, Simplicity 8594. Okay. Then I did get, find some black satin, um, and it's a very nice quality of satin in the rimage room. It's kind of a mess. You know, you get stuff like this, the ends is, could be like this, um, but they don't start the measurements. They don't start measuring it until you have a, you know, where it isn't torn. And so it was just two yards of that. That's all they had in the room. Well, they had more, but someone beat me to it and she got like seven yards of it. But it is what it is. 
And I got this really nice plaid piece. It's very nice. Um, and I should have asked her what it was. Um, it might even, I think this is a lightweight suiting. This is what you call lightweight suiting. Um, and it is lightweight. And I plan, well, I wanted to make a, like a blazer shirt dress. And I have the pattern. Um, the sleeveless one called for two and seven eighths. And I, this isn't enough. This is only one and seven eighths. Um, that's all they had. And so I'm just going to make a pair of trousers out of this. Um, yeah, view A, just some plain trousers. And this is McCall's 6361. And this is one of the new patterns that I purchased. Um, I think it was last week. Okay, on to the fabric that I, um, Ankara fabric that I purchased from um, my uh, boutique that I frequent in uh, Alexandria. This is the first piece. So that's really pretty. The next piece that really spoke to me there is this piece here. And this is a Sona wax. So it's not heavy. It's not a heavy wax on this. Okay. And I have six yards of that. And I had six yards of the other fabric as well. This is an oldie but goodie, this next piece. I um, have had several yardage uh, yardages of this in the past. And so when I saw it, I says, oh, I have to have it. Because everything that I made out of this print, I sold. So this fabric, and by the way, all of this fabric is for me. Except the black satin. No, the black satin will be something that will be mine too, but it's going to be a demo. But all of this fabric that I'm showing today is for me. So I went fabric shopping for myself. I have no idea what I'm going to make out of this, um, but it'll be something. And then this piece spoke to me. This is another piece with a lot of yellow in it and purple and black. And this is a... Um, Holland text Dutch. So this one is very nice. It's not heavily starched either. Okay. Again, I have no idea what I'm going to make out of that. Um, so it'll be hanging around. And then the last item that I purchased are a pair of ready-made pants. This print is one of my favorite prints in Akara fabric as well. Um, I think I had three pairs of ready-made pants out of this. And I sold them all. Um, and then the pair that I was trying to keep for myself, um, I ended up selling those two. But these ones will not be sold. So these are Palazzo pants and they're long. And so um, I'm looking forward to finally being able to wear them. Okay. And uh, so that's all of my fabric from my fabric haul um, over the past week, I guess. All right. Take care.